you fans out there, welcome to Nashville. We're at Nissan Stadium. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this one. And Brock, got a couple of running backs down on the field who can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their bell cow in that groove. Nick Folk ready to do the honors. And we're off and running from Nissan Stadium. It's Brandon Powell with the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So here come the Vikings taking the field for their first drive of the game. And we'll get a look at their signal caller playing in his seventh season. Just an all-around great performance from him last week, Kate, in the win. Those two touchdowns he had played a big part in the victory, no question. But so did keeping it clean, not throwing a pick. You want to become friendly with your own defense? Make sure they don't have any extra possessions to defend. He did his job, and so did his teammates. He's taking a shot on his first play. Well, he took their shot immediately. It would have been cool if they connected, but no luck. Second down. Well, as we see the names populating this injury report, partner, we recognize they've had to do some adjusting over the course of the season as key contributors have gone down. And this, right here, this is where fan favorites and surprise superstars are born, Kate, from guys having to step in as a result of these injuries. You never root for players to miss time and go down, but you'll always root for the guys filling in who are getting their shot to make their name and contribute when it really matters. Third down from the gun. Has the connection to Jones. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. First carry here for Aaron Jones. And he'll knife his way through for a pickup of four. A look at his numbers on the ground from last week here. Second and six coming up here. From the 43. Throwing this back in the end zone. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings take a 6-0 lead on their opening drive. It's an Aaron Jones touchdown. So that right there, Brock, exactly what you want to start off a contest. Opening drives are such tone setters. You come out flat as a group, maybe go three and out. Sometimes there's a carryover effect, but here they were sharp, they were crisp, and they grabbed the early lead. Now it's Will Reichert on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Vikings will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Here's Reichard set to kick this away. Fielded at the 7. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Titans ready for their opening drive of the game. And leading them out is their second-year quarterback from Kentucky. He earned several starts as a rookie. It's Will Levis. Nobody came away happy last week, no question about it. Himself, most of all. His team went 0-1 picking up the loss, but he was 0-1. One pick, no touchdowns. Not good enough. Defeat, not an option this week, and neither is a lack of touchdowns. They intend to rectify both. And that's good for a gain of five. Harrison Smith in on the stop. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Right back to Pollard. And he's going to get up to about the 33, but no more. They managed a single yard that time. They're going to have to solve third down and four. From the gun, Levis. Into the hands of Okonkwo. 
And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. Levis from the shotgun. That's brought in by Calvin Ridley. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Second and three now. From the 46. Throw takes him to the sideline, but he gets both feet in with the catch. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. They give to Pollard on the option. And he's going to run this down to the 36-yard line. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. On the play fake, it's Levis. Big catch made, and he got both feet in. It's a gain of 12. That Kevin O'Connell not happy with the officials at the moment. The challenge flag is Biggest out. Play is under review. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers. For moments like this, he did not have much margin for Ooh. error, and it happens oh so fast. All right, so that challenge is unsuccessful, but still a chance to earn a third one if their next challenge leads to an overturn call. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Shotgun now for Levis. Finds the in route complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Throwing his Levis. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Here's Levis. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans finish off their opening drive. Well, whether he stays the go-to guy the entire game, we, we will all judge together. But no doubt about it on that opening drive, Brock. He was the star. Bunch of catches and a touchdown to begin this one. Yeah, I think this is twofold. Number one, you love to get this guy started early. He's a playmaker. He's a difference maker. Number two, this defense, well, they better be on high alert because this offense feels like they have a matchup. They can attack and attack, and that time attack a third time for six. That one splits the uprights. And the Titans respond with seven of their own to tie it here early. It's all lined up. Falk ready to send this one flying. Powell now to return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Vikings and Justin Jefferson ready to go to work again offensively. And so far, with a chunk of the season gone, you can see he's been the league's most productive receiver in terms of yardage. They go play action on first. He throws a bullet down the left side. He's got it deep downfield. And he goes out a little short of the 40. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play, as well as a new set of downs. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Darnold looking to throw. Finds him over the middle. He's got to gain a six there. Jack Gibbons in on the tackle. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. 
And now they need to get four on third down. Here's Donald to throw. Has the connection to Hawkinson. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. They get six and a first down as well. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. More... We're ready now for the second quarter to begin. Vikings in control of it. They have second and pretty long here. Trying again, following the set. Finds a seam down the middle. And he'll go down here at the 16. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. First and 10, here's Jones. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. Jones wants more. And they'll get him down at the seven-yard line. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. Darnold. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. We'll take it in. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings take a second quarter lead. It's an Aaron Jones touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Right on the edge of the goal line for first and goal. And I don't know about you, partner, but that surprised me that they just threw it in. No attempts at running it. Yeah, I think it is so hard for these defenders. You've got to be so keyed in and physically, you know you've got to stop that run first. So a first down pass play can and certainly was effective. One after try good by Reichert. And the Vikings break that tie and now lead by seven. Here's Reichert set to kick this away. Has this at the six. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Titans and Tyler Boyd set to go to work again. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you gotta imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah. here. They gotta yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. It's pretty obvious, this defense. Man, they need more people around the line of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, you start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. And defenders are there to get him at the line. Jonathan Bullard with a stop. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Again, a run with Pollard. He gets it forward for a gain of three. Harrison Smith in on the stop. Okay, that's a run that's ho-hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. And they're gonna haul him down just shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Levis here on first down. Okonkwo brings it in. And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. 
That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. To hit a curl route of that length, it takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. And this defense offering no room at all up the gut there. No gain. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. They give to Pollard from the gun. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Brought to the ground by Cameron Bynum. Here they come. This is third and five. Levis to the air now. Here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Well, your internal clock right there, it has got to be tuned up a little bit. Plenty of time. In this league, if you get three seconds to throw the ball and it's not out of your hands, that responsibility falls on you as a QB. But give some credit to the defense, who was able to get home and get the sack. So the Titans left with a fourth down, and we're going to see Nick Folk after the try. From the right hash, it's a 47-yarder. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. It depends on the kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Vikings and Aaron Jones headed back out there on offense. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. Throwing from the gun here. He's on the move. He'll try and run this. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. That brings us to the two-minute warning at Nashville. The Vikings working here. From the 29. Jones reels it in. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Has him on the quick hitter. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Jack Gibbons in on the tackle. Second down now, seven to go. From the 39. Hits him on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds at his own 45. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. He has the first over the middle, and he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. They are throwing it again. Escapes the pocket. He can run it. Timeout taken by the offense, their second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second down now, seven to go. Darnold now to throw. Able to find Hawkinson. This is ahead for about five. Legereus Sneed there for the stop. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Coverage holds up, and he just had to get rid of it. You know, it's fascinating how those routes you run so many times in practice become a whole lot more difficult in the actual game. That was an important third and short to convert. Very surprised to see that play fail. Here's Darnold. That's cut beyond the marker. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. So at the end of two, the Vikings playing Road Warriors here. They've got the lead.
Now we'll send you south to Orlando for a check-in around the league via Town scoreboard. We'll keep our focus right here. Let's get back to football with the start of the second half. Jackson now to return it. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. So here's the Tennessee offense getting ready to start our third quarter. They'll try to get that ground game established better than they did in the opening half, Bronx. See if they can attack that deficit. Throwing now on first down. Levis completed over the middle. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Second and three now. On the play fake, it's Levis. He throws a bullet to the center of the field. Really pushing the envelope on second down, but the deep shot doesn't work. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Shotgun now for Levis. He completes it in traffic. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Levis throwing again. Escapes out to the left. He's keeping it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Now about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. All right, set now, first and 10. From the gun, they go with Pollard. And he'll scurry forward for a pickup of three. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. From the 24. Into the hands of Okonkwo. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. And they've got themselves another first and 10. From the red zone now. He's on the move. He's stepping up and takes off with this one. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Pollard goes the wrong way and is going to lose several here. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Trying again with Pollard. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. Now Levis on third and goal. Into a crowd, and a defender comes up with it. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. As he brings it back for the pick six. That play, Brock, that play was beautiful. Not just making the interception, but then seeing the return slowly come together in front of him as he took it all the way to the house. Yeah, I think even for us up here in the booth, it looked like a scene out of a movie, didn't it? Starts running <laughs> yep. it back, scans the field for a lane, then the blocks come just in the nick of time to wipe out the would-be tacklers, and he's got open space and nothing but the end zone in front of him. Well, Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. Jackson now to return it. He stopped on the return at the 27. So now here comes the Titans on offense. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. They'll start this one on the ground with Pollard. And he gets it forward to steal about a yard out of that. Play brought to an end by Jonathan Grenard. 
They'll come to the line here, second and nine. From the gun, Levis. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. The intended target was Calvin Ridley. And things look tougher now with third and long. Levis from the shotgun. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. It's again at 27 yards to move the chains. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Levis back to throw. Cut out left. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 37. That throw finds Oconquo. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. Levis now on first down. Oconquo brings it in. And he's going to go out of bounds just short of that red zone. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Flying the inside hand off to Pollard. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. They get 19, and now they're going to have first and goal. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans shave some off the deficit late in the quarter. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Titans keeping their offense on the field. Love it. They're trying for two. And they get the two-point conversion. He's in the lead. Only a field goal now. Critical two-point play there, Brock. The conversion puts them now in range of tying this sucker up with a field goal. So different for everybody in the building, right? A three-point game, and especially mm. different for the kicker. He wasn't needed there, but get yourself ready. Your defense does the job. You may need a game-tying field goal at some point soon. They've got first down from the 31. They're going play action. He beams one deep right side. Brought in inside the 20. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. The analytics are pretty clear. It's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks. You've got to get the explosive chunk. You've got to get the big play. And that throw to the outside, that gets the job done. So a massive gain, and all of a sudden, we've got first and 10 inside the red zone. Here's Darnold to throw. A dangerous throw, and he almost got burned by it. The interception dropped and incomplete on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. It's Jones on the toss. And he'll take this only to about the 11 before going down. Only a yard on the play, and that takes us to the end of quarter number three. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Throwing here, Darnold. Has it down close. And that's a Minnesota touchdown. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up 
and carry it across the finish line. Riker there to tack on the extra point. And the Vikings make it a 10-point ball game. Here's Riker set to kick this away. Jackson now to return it. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. Out come the Titans for another offensive possession. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. First and 10, it's Pollard. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. Levis setting to throw. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he's tackled for a short game. Third and just two to go. Levis now off the play fake. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll get it up to the 44. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. Now Levis. Has him on the quick hitter. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And with third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Up the middle, here goes Pollard. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Yeah, you want to get above five yards to carry? I'll put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action, right? When you really just gouge and gash a defense like that, the next time you run that action, they're going to be thinking running the ball could go right over their head. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Here's second and 14. Finds him over the middle. And he's going to be taken down near the 8-yard line. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives him first and goal. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. End up running left, Pollard. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seven. Give him maybe a yard on that play, Brock. Still seven to go on third and goal. Levis to the air now. Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And that forces them to fourth and goal. Now it's Nick Folk to try the Titans' field goal. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. Powell now to return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Vikings and Sam Darnold heading out for their next shot on offense. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. Slot man motioned over. 
Starting the drive with a give to Jones. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. Staying on the ground with Jones. And he's downed after getting this up to the 41. That one gains seven. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. That's the two-minute warning here in Nashville. Vikings leading by seven. First and ten from the 41. Running right, this is Jones. And he's brought down after a short game. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Second down carry for Jones. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Now we get another stoppage here. Just 152 remaining. The defense burns a timeout. Here he is to throw. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Trying to find Justin Jefferson. And that leaves them with fourth and five. Minnesota lined up in punt formation. And this somehow is only going to be our first punt of the game. He punted three times in the win last week, and this one is away. The Titans and Tony Pollard headed back out there offensively. And those legs must be tired, but he ain't stopping Brock, not with the type of game that he's been having for himself on the ground. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. To throw. That's gonna be caught, Tony Pollard. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Throwing now. Pass cut by Ridley. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now to throw. He sends this one to the end zone. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. And that throw doesn't lead to six. And that'll bring up second down. Looking to throw it. Short pass brought in. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Titans in the hurry up trying to get this play off fast. Into the hands of Okonkwo. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. Here he is to throw. Has the connection to Ridley. And he's able to get this down to the 36. Keeping that pace going as the clock continues to run. Has it at the seven. So the Vikings pick up the win on the road. And there was no easing up. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time. The Vikings emerge as winners as we say goodbye from Nashville.